Thank you for joining us today, and you are joining the Author Spotlight Show. My name is Gail Watson, President and CEO of Women Speakers Association. As part of running a global community of women in 120 countries, it is my privilege that I get to connect with and have some extraordinary conversations with women from all over the world doing amazing work. It's an important time for women to step up and find and own their voice. And it's even more exciting when we see her put those words down in paper, into a book, so they live on forever and they're easily shared. Today we have international best-selling author, Crystal Marie Seeley joining us today, who has uh, great uh, stories and insights, sharing about a journey to self-acceptance, something we could all use. So. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to welcome Crystal Marie to our show. Welcome. Thank you, Gail. Thank you for having me. Thank you, everyone, for joining. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So, as I just mentioned, um, you you go down deep. You share uh, a personal experience, and um, maybe give us a little bit of behind the curtain peek into that story and what inspired you to share it. Well, there were several things at play there. Um, it was actually a conversation that I had with you in the end that inspired me to, to join this book in the first place. So thank you. And I think um, it was Deb Coleman who said that I should speak to you and join this book in particular. Because I'd said, oh, I'll join the book next year. And I think I'd said that the year before. <laughs> and um, after we spoke and you spoke about the fact that it was heart centered and um, just who it would reach and just how that really was coherent with the message that I had. I felt that I had to, but my focus on that specific emotion, one that we never touch on, was coming out of a conversation that I had with one friend and several people, in fact, but one friend who said, you know, if you speak about anger, that is something that people will relate to in a book. They won't talk about it everywhere else, but if they're reading it on their own, they, they will feel it. They will be able to open up and honestly face that emotion. So I thought that would be a good one to touch on. Uh, you're right. Your friend is right there. That <laughs> anger is a big, big word. It's yeah. a strong word. It's, uh, it's an emotion, yeah, that's destructive. So let's talk a little bit about that and a little bit about your story. Okay. So... In the book, I won't, I won't give any spoilers really, but in the book, I shared some situations that I'm sure we can all relate to. Um, in my world, I was raised to not express anger. And then I didn't say this in the book, but coming to Canada, there was a lot of pressure um, from family and from everywhere else to make sure that I represented people of my particular color and my particular background as not being angry. And so I internalized that in all of the wrong ways. <laughs> and um, you end up becoming a workaholic. Like it influences so many of your decisions um, in the corporate world. And then when I started my business, I decided I was not going to do that. So in this story, I went through um, some very honest aspects of where it shows up, how we repress it, how that affects our health, and then how repressing it doesn't work because it still comes up in other ways. And then you end up not really being true to yourself because that expression of anger is not true to who you are. It's not true to your values. So I hope you take a look at that honestly if you do get to read my story. Well, there'll be many people wanting to read your story and, <laughs> and the book is around the world. So I'm, yes. uh, as, as, you, as you picture this book falling into the hands uh, and, and your story finding that person, what do you want that person to take away from your story? Um, I think a lot of us are told that there are good emotions and bad emotions. And it's one thing for me to say, um, don't repress feelings. But in your day to day world, we've all been put into boxes by our friends, our families, our coworkers, everybody. And it's one thing to talk about it, it's a whole different thing to take that step forward. My thing is just acknowledge that all your feelings are there for you. They're not about other people. Other people are not responsible for them, but you are not responsible for how other people receive them either. 
you are responsible for your feelings and how they how they show up how they represent who you are so the best thing i would say is own all of them and be gentle with yourself as you go through that process um face feel really face heal and release those that don't work and that's an internal intrinsic process some people go through coaches or therapy um, if you need to do that, do it, whatever it takes for you to get at home with yourself and get comfortable with those feelings. So you can release them because they only show up to help you identify the boundaries that have been violated or to help you define a new sense of self-respect or self-acceptance. The only way to, the only thing to take from these feelings and facing them is to grow through them. They only, only really ever work for you if you face them honestly, I found. Wow, uh, so beautifully said. Um, and I really get your feeling behind those words. I get that yeah. you live them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you've experienced them deeply and they changed your world. So let's jump into your today world. And from all that, from all of that, all of those feelings, how do they show up in your world today? Is that what you're doing for your business now or? How does that show? Yes, it, it actually is very interesting. Um, it is a never ending process. So I do go through, I call it the onion layers. Um, every time you peel one back, you're like, wow, I've healed that. And then you realize there's more to it. And I think grace with yourself during all of that is worth it. I am, today I'm a speaker and I deliver mostly keynotes talks when I'm allowed or invited to. I'm a best-selling author. Thanks, Gail, for sharing that. And I also do something called mindful strategy consulting. So what I do in my world today is I have allowed my experience to shift how I offer strategy consulting. So it's not the standard mainstream management consulting um, arm's length rule. I hold space for my clients because what I found is that is where I invite them to really share their vision. And it allows me to listen so that I understand what their vision really is. Not the vision they think they have to share to sound professional. The vision that really lives in them, that's maybe a little messy and a little quirky, that I can support them in bringing to life so that they could mesh business and lifestyle in a way that is unique to them, that honors their rhythms and their needs so that when they show up with clients, they are genuinely more effective because they're not distracted by all of the things they have to hide or repress or or shy away from. So what I do is look at pricing, we look at lean process, which is you know, trimming all of the distractions so that you really focus on what the client needs and there's no room for something called scope creep, which is where people ask for more and you're not getting paid more and you end up being resentful because you're giving more than you really can. And you know, like it's very important. All of it comes back to self-acceptance and authenticity. When you're comfortable in your skin and who you are and what you really stand for, you can serve your clients more powerfully through that. And so that's what I do, whether it's my motivational talks, my books, or my one-on-one -on -one strategy consulting and training sessions. Wow, you are definitely a woman. You <laughs> know. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you talk about us being gentle with ourselves and you make it feel, I mean, I check in with the listeners right now. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> feeling of beautiful gentleness that you offer and I know that you make things very easy um, so thank you your we you. your kind the kindness and gentleness within your heart really shines through and thank your you, wisdom and strength also comes through in a in um, a really nice solid way so thank, thank you. you okay I'm thinking that everybody <laughs> is relating to uh, a piece of this and uh, should definitely get their hands on your story and get to know you. So where can we get a copy of your book? Thank you. So there are several places to get this book. I've put all of them on my webpage. So you can go to crystalmariesealy.com. That's C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-M-A-R-I-E-S-E-A-L-Y.com slash author. And you'll see links to um, amazon.com, amazon.ca. You can get the uh, hard copy version and you can get a signed personalized version there as well. And um, if you wanna, this is just for the other authors too. If you wanna find out who else is in the book, you can just still visit hashtag voices of the 21st century and you'll see a lot more 
Oh, there. yeah. That's There's a lot cool. of great stories. Yeah. Um, this is fantastic. And, you know, as I think about, um, I think about your story, it would also make, you know, while it'd be great for us as an, you know, us ourselves personally, I'm thinking yeah. if, if there's anybody, if you're listening right now, if there's any names coming to mind to you right now that could really benefit from this, who could you yes. use to support the connection with Crystal yeah. Marie, you know, pick them up a copy too. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a beautiful time to give people just a small piece of you to let them know that you see them. Uh, yes. It's time of feeling isolated and lonely this could be just that little connection that they need so really think yeah. about that it's just a an inexpensive way to show someone you care yeah it, it, it actually worked that way for me as well that this launched during the pandemic because it allowed me to read more of the other stories and it did the same for me <laughs> so true <laughs> yeah, i'm hearing a yes. lot of that so it's um, yes. it's 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 very healing yes um crystal marie yes. you're so full of strength and and uh, words that have meaningful and or have strong impact. What would you like a What would you leave with us today as sort of your words of wisdom? <laughs> I would say, like things take the time they take, right? Like we would like to read this and get fired up and think that we could do it in a week, but sometimes. We take steps up the hill and then we slide back down and then we take more steps up that hill and we slide back down. And if you have to do that 10 times and go back up 11 times or more, then that is okay. I think appreciating yourself as you are first is huge in self-acceptance because we're wrapped up in this world of continuous improvement, which never lets us celebrate what is already working. So I think stop and take a minute to be grateful for all that you already are. You probably are way more amazing than you think, quirks and flaws and all. And then from there, you know, decide what next steps you want to take, what you want to heal next. One little thing, every little step really does count. So that was my experience. Thank you for asking, Gail. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was beautifully said, so simply put. Uh, and I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful Thank for you. your heart, for you really opening up and and showing and being vulnerable and showing that personal side of you in your story. And that's what changes the lives of others. And that's what connects because we then we're not feeling so alone if we're going through it. Yes, very true. <laughs> so thank you for doing that. And thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you. And thank you, uh, Gail. Thank you. And to our listeners out there, um, do connect with Crystal Marie. Uh, pick up a copy of her book. She's also a speaker and is available. If you know of any groups or organizations that needs to hear this message, call her. Yes. <laughs> and then get connected and, and um, as you can see, has a lot of beautiful words of wisdom that she could pass along. Thank you. Uh, to, and so... Thank you again. Thank you to our listeners. Wherever you are in this world, we wish you uh, a great day. Please be happy and be safe and stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you.